Hi, this is the fifth and final video in the cellular respiration series. In this video, we're going to look at oxidative phosphorylation, which is also known as the electron transport chain. You may remember that a mitochondrion looks a little like this. It has an outer membrane and an inner membrane. And we're going to take a close-up look at the inner mitochondrial membrane. So here is the membrane, and within it are a bunch of protein complexes. They are known as complex 1, or NADH dehydrogenase, complex 2, or succinate dehydrogenase, complex 3, or cytochrome C reductase, and complex 4, or cytochrome C oxidase. These are the major protein complexes of the electron transport chain. The other factors involved in the electron transport chain are coenzyme Q10 and the cytochrome C complex. The other large protein complex involved here is called ATP synthetase, and as the name suggests, it is the complex that makes ATP. So the process begins with NADH, which was produced by glycolysis, beta oxidation, and the TCA cycle. This NADH is oxidized to NAD plus and donates two electrons to the electron transport chain. These two electrons get passed between the complexes like this. And are finally accepted by oxygen. And with a couple of protons, this produces water. This oxygen is supplied by breathing air from our atmosphere. And to provide this is the reason that all animals need to breathe. Now, as the electrons are passed between the complexes, they pump protons out of the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space, like this. Complex 1 pumps out 4 protons. Complex 3 pumps out 4 protons. And complex 4 pumps out 2 protons. Therefore, in total, 1 NADH pumps 10 protons across the membrane. A similar process happens when FADH2 is used as the electron donor. Two electrons get donated to complex 2, which in turn passes them to coenzyme Q10 and onward down the electron transport chain. Because complex 1 is not involved when FADH2 is the electron donor, only six protons get pumped across the membrane. Finally, these protons then flow back down their electrochemical gradient through the ATP synthetase. For every four protons that flow through the ATP synthetase, a single ATP is produced. I should just say that different textbooks will quote different numbers here. I've quoted the number from Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry, 5th edition. So if you do the math, it turns out that 1 NADH will produce 2.5 ATP, and 1 FADH2 will produce 1.5 ATP. And that's how a cell produces ATP for its energy supply. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please help us produce more by making a donation at www.handwrittentutorials.com.